Query. I'm going to present DAO it. Create a DAO in minutes. Easy DAO creation. No coding is required. You just submit two forms and two transactions. Uh, in return, you get an ERC20 voting token and a streaming enabled version of the token uh, using the Superfluid protocol. Open Zeppelin Governor and Time Lock contracts uh, and a DAO Manager contract that enables grants, deposit, and streaming contributions to the DAO, which also issues and st or streams shares in the DAO to contributors. The you can enable multi-chain DAO. Uh, DAO it creates DAO token, DAO manager, governor, and time lock contracts at the same addresses on multiple chains. Uh, so you can enable contributions from L2s and side chains to the same addresses, uh, making it easy for others to contribute to the DAO. Here's a brief overview of how everything is set up. Uh, the DAO manager kind of acts as a front-end interface that accepts deposits or streams uh, and in return sends back DAO tokens to the contributors. Uh, it forwards those deposits and streams to the uh, Open Zeppelin time lock or treasury contract. Uh, the DAO token here is, is an ERC20 token that supports voting uh, and that works with the Open Zeppelin governor contract uh, which can which DAO members can interact with uh, via the Tally UI. Tally provides a uh, front-end UI for creating proposals, voting on proposals, and, and executing uh, past proposals. And this is how all the pieces fit together. Next step, a live demo. Okay, here I am at DAO.xyz, just DAO it. Easy as XYZ. Let's get started. I'm already connected here on Rinkaby Testnet. Next, now I'll be deploying. There we go. Next steps to create governance. Uh, choose a voting period. This is in the number of blocks, not in, in time. I'm going to choose only 20 blocks just for testing purposes here. And I'm going to enable veto power uh, for myself, at least initially, until things get, get rolling with the DAO. Okay, the DAO has been created successfully. Now it lists the five contracts that have been deployed. Uh, and I have down here next steps in adding the DAO to tally. So this is the information I need to add it to tally. So I've taken the information from the DAO it uh, confirmation screen and I've pasted the information into the form here, token information and governance information. And now I'll hit create protocol. And the protocol was created. Uh, club tokens, DAO tokens, uh, to demonstrate the next part here on tally. Uh, first steps, I can delegate my vote. I'm going to delegate my vote to myself, but I could also delegate it to any other address. I'm also going to add a proposal. So that added a command to the proposal. I can add even more commands if I want, uh, but I'm just going to go ahead and create the proposal with one command. Now I can see that the proposal I created is listed here. I can click on that. I'm going to vote. But the reason uh, this this is this site on Tally right now is being actively developed by the Tally team. I've been uh, troubleshooting with them. So there are some bugs that still need to be worked out. And here we can see my vote. 100 votes from the 100 club tokens. Site, we can see uh, the contracts that were created. If we take a look at the DAO token, our voting token, we can see that it ends in B72-2E. And now, quickly, if we were to launch 
the same contracts on a different chain, switching to the Mumbai testnet, uh, Polygon testnet, let's do the same thing. And there we have it. We have the contracts, five contracts deployed on Mumbai. And we see the DAO token example we looked at, B72-2E. So the DAO token exists at the same address on Mumbai and on Rinkeby right now. That wraps up my presentation of DAOIT. DAO creation made easy. Just DAOIT. It's as easy as XYZ.